People stay to be with three home of the Ryan Cam Morning Show, Wanda Smith. I don't know what you heard about me, <laughs> but it's Friday and Tigger's happy. Oh. One of the reasons I'm so happy. Cause in the studio was Ronnie Perry. Oh, 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 did you put me in the freestyle slot? <laughs> oh, I thought I was in the basement. Please tune in and turn up at YSV103.com. Wow. Rodney, it is so damn good to see you, boy. Ain't God good? Yeah, he is. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Let me tell y'all something. If you don't know, this is your boy Rodney Perry. Probably a month, less than a month and a half ago, I had a stroke. Yeah, I'm never hearing about it. And man, this is the dope part about it, T. Okay. It's like dying and getting to go to your own funeral. <laughs> like on social media, people was really showing me love. I was no, like, I didn't know they liked me. <laughs> they liked me for real. <laughs> so yeah, I, I was in my hospital bed, man, really looking at all of the social and all, all right. that stuff and trying to come back. Luckily, you know, anybody that's going through a stroke or anything similar to that, man, I'm sending prayers out to you because it's, it's not a game. It's not. It's not a game. And I'm back on my feet making my return to the stage tonight. Yeah. At the Uptown County Corner. Yeah. I'm on my feet, man. I was in a wheelchair a month ago. I, I remember I, we were about to shoot the Kevin Hart Laugh Out yeah. Loud Network week, and then they were like, Rodney not going to be there. He had a stroke. I was like, he had a what? He had a, like it ain't nothing. <laughs> he had a stroke. It, no, he didn't. Then Kevin saw, called me the other day told me he think I'm faking. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you came back too quick. Come on, man. Just, just admit it. You faking, Rodney. And I was, you know, like, since I moved here, I, I, you know, me and you hung out a couple times. I was like, he's one of the real good guys. So, like, I was like, dang, yeah. my dude. Yeah, man. So, I'm, I'm glad you're on your feet. And, yes, sir. So, so uh, you're all the way good. You're on the way back to I'm, good. I'm, I'm probably like 75% right now. Okay. Like, I, I can walk. I, I got my left side, my left hand. Okay. Because, you know, I lost my left side. Really? And so, I had to relearn how to walk. I had to learn how to walk again. Wow. I had to learn little stuff. It's so much. This is what I learned, T. We take so much for granted. Mm. Just to be able to type on your computer, just to tell your kids, get out this room and point. <laughs> you know, the, 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 I, I lost that, man. And, 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 and now I'm getting it back now, slowly but surely, every day. Every time I go to sleep and wake up, it's like I'm, it's like I'm a, a cell phone, but it won't keep a charge. <laughs> <laughs> so if I work too hard, I be needing a nap, dog. Okay. Yeah, I be needing a nap. So I had some nap today, slept today, and we're going to work tonight. We're going to kick it. Uptown Comedy Corner. Yeah. Two shows tonight. Two shows. How many shows tomorrow? 17 shows. <laughs> tomorrow. I'm and one back. on Sunday. And one on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so were, were there any signs that this just sneak up on you, the stroke? Well, well absolutely. Um, when, when you see strokes, they, they give you the acronym FAST. So if you ever around somebody and you're looking to help them, you're looking for face drooping. Right. You're looking for any arm weakness, F-A-S-T, and you're looking for speech slurring. Okay. And if you see any of those things, you're supposed to go 911 at that point. Okay. And they, they really encourage us not to drive ourselves to the emergency yeah, that room. that might not be you, it. You know, you know, black people like, how much, how much ambulance? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> That's an Uber. <laughs> yeah, or get your Uber on, son. Right. But but they, they really encourage you. But you'd be surprised, man. I didn't show any of those symptoms. I went in. I had high, uh, high blood pressure. Okay. So my blood pressure, when I checked myself into the hospital, 221 over 140. My God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tiggs, like, what would you do? I said everything. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. I was I was the turn up. Damn. Yeah, yeah, it was it was crazy, man. But, I mean, they caught it in time. Mm. I hadn't had the stroke. I actually had the stroke at the hospital. Wow. So it's all about the timeliness of catching these things, man. And and a lot of us, we're not going to the doctor. We we afraid of of the situation. We got the new health care situation mm -hmm. we deal with, Mr. Trump. So I mean, we got to really keep our eyes and ears open as to how to take care of ourselves. And and I learned the hard way. Learn from me. Don't do what I did. <laughs> don't don't lay up for six weeks trying to get well. Don't learn how to walk again. Well, I mean, you did. Uh, listen, bro. Yeah, man. A, I'm glad if it, if it was going to happen, I'm glad it happened where it happened. Absolutely. Because you was already there. This, this, <laughs> let me tell you how God works. So I was in Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a show. I did I did two shows with my blood pressure that, at that height. That's wow. how stupid I am. So <laughs> I did it. My, my brother, who we was kind of estranged. Me and my brother weren't even talking to each other. Mm -hmm. So this stroke happened in Denver. My brother sat by my side every day. You know, and we we back cool. We back best friends. Right. So, you know, it, it was some greater plan in, in the world. Hey, man. Well, Rodney Perry going to show you the greater plan this weekend in Uptown Comedy Corner. If I trip, 
Grab me. <laughs> I'm going to try to come out. So I'm coming to Sunday. I'm coming to see you Sunday. It's gonna I got to support you on Sunday. I'm nice. going to come see you on Sunday. Well, brother, I am so happy that you are well, alive, and back to being Rodney. Yeah, man. I, I, I prayed for you when you was in. When you was in, I was like, "Not my, not my I boy." I caught that when I actually seen that one come back. <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, that's ticket hit me with a prayer." <laughs> and the all- most unlikely people pray for me, dude. Really? Dude, I had some thugs call me. Hey, homie, <laughs> let me go and just hit you with this prayer right quick. I was like, "Wait a minute! I didn't even know you knew Jesus. <laughs> You're a killer." <laughs> yeah, that's why minds go straight through. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, Rodney, we are coming to all supports. ATL supports, brother. Uptown Comedy Corner, two shows tonight. Uh, all the shows tomorrow, man. Thousand, thousand shows tonight. And then one show on Sunday. I appreciate you. Good to see you, bro. And, and God bless him, bro. Hey, I love you. I love everybody. When you come off that hot stroke tour, you be loving people. I love y'all. Atlanta, man. We out. <laughs>